Hello. I hope everybody can hear me. I do not. Good to see you. I know. Okay. Hello. Nice to see you guys so far. I see people still connecting. <coughs> It's just Dan's iPad. You don't know. Huh? Nope, you won't know. know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Still waiting for people to get on. Other people, I think we're sharing. Yeah, I'm, just, yeah, I'm just looking around, seeing what's going on. Um, People are still connecting on here. Um, if you can mute your um, link on there on your on your screen, that would be awesome. Although I will be muting everybody also. Um, if you want your video to show, oops, you know what? You guys can't hear me because my speaker is off. Let's see. Okay, can you hear me okay. now? Oh my goodness, I had my speaker off. Can you hear me, Elizabeth? Okay, perfect. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm stupid sometimes. So, so anyway, uh, we're waiting for more people to get on here. We'll start at 11.15. Oh, well, you could hear me before. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. I guess I couldn't hear because my speaker was, was turned off. Okay, that's good. Awesome. That was me. Um, so if you guys can turn your speakers off, and I'm going to go ahead and um, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and why is it not coming up here? Oh, there we go. I will mute you guys. So everybody's muted. So all you get to do is hear my nice voice. I listen to my voice and I'm like... <sighs> It's kind of crazy when you listen to your own voice and see your own face all the time. I know my face is right there in your in your screen. So we're waiting. We have about five minutes left. Um, just zooming in here. Um, let me get my to where we can I can see and I'll have a seat here. Um, maybe I'll bring this forward. Maybe I'll bring this up. Hang on a minute. Sorry. Just trying to get that together there. Good. I'm in my office. Um, so cleared out my whole front entry area. So I teach every, every time I teach, I'm teaching in my office. Um, just because my house is um, loud. I have three dogs who bark at everything. So, but as we go through class, please modify if you need to modify. I'm going to repeat these things a couple of times. Modify if you need to modify. Have your water. Oh, I might have my handy dandy um, sweat. <laughs> I've been sweating a lot teaching. I don't know if I'm um, nervous or working extra hard. Uh, but anyway, have your water there. I will modify on the second rep if there's a modification or not. Please modify if you need to. Uh, everybody who's taking this class, whether I do it virtually here or live in class uh, in the actual you know, rec center, everybody's a different level. So you do whatever you can do. What I like about my class is that I try to keep many of the exercises similar so that you can actually see your progress as you go through. It's really nice, I think, and I think it's empowering for exercise when you can see your progress. Um, that's what makes you want to keep exercising. If everything is hard all the time um, or always challenging, sometimes it's, you know, mentally can be not as a motivating factor. You want to, something, you want to be able to have a goal and accomplish it. Um, sometimes I say as we go through class, if you just want to do three reps, just do three reps. I'd rather have you do three great reps than 10 crappy ones. Okay, so we still have about two minutes left. Um, there is a 
uh, video if on the lower left hand corner of your screen. If you want me to see your video up top, you can click on that start recording. I think it is so you can click on that. It's not recording you, but it's just showing, you know, what you're doing so I can see people because it's always nice to because we're doing these live. It's nice to see people. Although I have to honestly say whenever I do anybody else's classes, I'm always click off. You just see my name. So um, so I get it. Sometimes you don't want to be seen. And usually if I'm doing it, it's in the morning and I haven't, I don't have makeup on, you know, I'm probably wearing, you know, a torn t-shirt that's very comfortable that I love. And, you know, sometimes everybody just, just doesn't want to see that. So we're almost there. So you have a map. We don't need any equipment in my class. I will modify in the second rep if there's a modification or not, so please do it. Uh, you're in the comfort of your own home, so do it if you need to do it. Um, sometimes if you need to stop and pause and take a rest, stop and pause and take a rest. The class is about you and about what you're doing. So we will be working uh, the whole core during my class. So the core goes from your shoulder to mid thigh, front and back. So we will be working both sides. Um, Please make sure that you modify. Everybody's at different levels. We will be um, taking no breaks. <laughs> uh, my, my break is like, you know, three seconds. So, you know, it's pretty much no. So, um, but why don't we go ahead and start. Let me check one thing. Good morning to everybody. I hope everybody can hear me. Hi, Rivka. Hi, Fr how do you use Francesca, Fran Ala Fran Francesca, not Francesca, Francesca May, right? Oh, good, awesome. Hi, Debbie, nice to see you guys. Um, good, we got a good amount of people. Pass our link along. Anybody can do our classes. They can do them in Italy or uh, Mexico or Hawaii. I mean, and they're free to anybody. You do not have to be a Parker Rec Center member to do it. So, um, so we're going to start, we're going to start laying on our backs. We're using the mat. We're just using our body weight. Sometimes that's enough, right? No offense to anybody. So we're going to start laying on our backs, pulling our knees into our chest. So we get a nice, easy stretch in that lower back. Your abs are engaged, nice and tight. Arms out into a T-shaped position, and you're going to pull your knees into a circle, one direction only. As as knees come up to your chest, we are exhaling. Breathe. Push push the small of your back down to your mat. As your knees come up, you're squeezing those abdominals in nice and tight. Switch directions. There is no music. We don't have music because of licensing issues. So if you want light music behind you, totally fine. Um, but no music here. None of the classes are having music. Hold your knees. This is called tabletop position where your knees are on top of the hips. Arms out and you're going to slowly rock your knees side to side. You are keeping your abdominals in nice and tight. Breathing. So when we say engage your abdominals, that means sucking in your gut super tight. And I want you to do that all day long. You're going to do that for the rest of your life. Now, as your lower back is starting to loosen up, you can let your knees go a little closer to the floor. Breathe. And go ahead and let your knees drop all the way down to the floor. You can open up the hip joint here. Abs are in tight. You're stretching out the core of our body that we're going to be working on today. Um, well, among everything else we're going to work on today. So lift your knees up. Drop them to the other side. Nice, easy stretch. This should feel nice. Back to the center. Pull your knees into your chest. Nice stretch. Go ahead and put your knees in frog leg. Hold on to the ankles. Soles of your feet come together. Stretching those inner thighs, stretching the uh, joints, your SI joints, your sacred iliac joints that are laying on the floor. Um, I'm also a chiropractor, so I talk anatomy a lot. I try to not use um, specific, you know, chiropractic words or specific. I'll try to be more layman's terms. So we're going to go right into Pilates 100. I offer three levels. 
three, that's three, three levels. Level one is the easiest. Knees on top of the hips, arms out to the side, head and neck is on the mat. Level two, engage the neck and the upper back. Level three, extend the legs. Pump your arms and rhythm with your breathing. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, four, five. Eyes are looking forward at the wall, not at the ceiling. You have an imaginary tangerine between your chin and your chest. If you look at the ceiling, it's going to fall to the floor. I want you to relax your neck. So it helps relax your neck. You don't want your chin on your chest, but just pretend like there's something there. Keep pumping. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, four, five. If you need to modify halfway through, modify. Totally fine. If you want to put a hand behind your head, pump for five. Switch arms and pump for five. Whatever works best for you. Breathe. Now we are going to add on here. So I want everybody to pull your knees into your chest, or I to tabletop, sorry. And then you're going to extend your legs out, open, bring it in, tabletop. Extend, open, bring it in, tabletop. Extend, open, bring it in, tabletop. The small of your back must stay pushing down to the mat. You do that by squeezing your abs in super duper tight. Breathe. Last time, extend, open, bring it in, knees to your chest, relax your head, rotate your head side to side. Good job. Legs up to the ceiling, engage the neck and the upper back, let that tangerine again, scissor the legs. We are stretching out the hamstrings. We are working the upper and lower abdominals at the same time. Now, if you wanna relax your head, do it. If it hurts your neck, do it. Totally fine. It is all about you. But we need to stretch out these hamstrings, warm them up a little bit, hold it up at the top, relax your head, point your toes. You're in a little pelvic tilt here. You're pushing the small of your back down. Little circle one direction, switch and go the other. We are working predominantly lower abdominals here. My circle is about the size of a volleyball or basketball. We are pushing the small of our back down. We're in a little pelvic tilt, the entire circle. Breathe, inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Hold it there, extend your legs up, stretch those hamstrings, work those lower abs. Engage the neck and the upper back, hold that. Now go ahead and let your legs go down to about a 45 degree position. Holding it, push the small of that back down, bring it back up, hold it. Now lower it down again, lower as far as you want. I'm just going to a 45, that's plenty. Breathe, push the small of the back down. Man, those abs are going nuts. Bring it back up again. And one more time, lower it down to a 45, hold it. Extension, a lot of energy going out those legs. Good job, bring it back in, knees to the chest, and rotate your head side to side. Good job. Feet flat on the mat, knees are bent. Roll-ups, I do pre-roll-ups. I always do them with the knees bent. You're welcome to extend the legs out if you want. Arms over your head, I will modify on the second rep. Inhale, exhale, roll up, fingertips up to the ceiling. Inhale and exhale back nice and slow. Low back touches first as you roll back. If you can do that, continue. Here's your modification. You're gonna go up to a crunch and hold it. Inhale and exhale back nice and slow. A second modification is getting yourself up to a seated position and then stopping halfway. Bringing yourself back up again and then stopping halfway. Whatever you wanna do, is totally fine. Breathe. But what I want you to think about as you pull yourself up, your abs are pulling you up. As you roll back, your abs are putting the brakes on. Use your breath. We are not working on momentum. We don't work on momentum in my class. Every motion is intentioned and controlled. Breathe. Good job. Good job means keep going, you're doing good. So I love roll-ups, love them. So 
we do a lot of roll-ups in my class. I haven't been lately, but I think today we're going to do a lot of roll-ups. So, so this is where, if you want to modify as we go through this, do it. So I want you to extend the leg out. Leg is parallel to the floor. It is staying parallel to the floor. It is not there to make this easier. It is to make it more challenging. So don't use that leg like it's going up to pull yourself up. Breathe. Inhale and exhale back. Good job. Remember, we're not dogs. Breathe. You're going to switch legs. We have two legs. We got to do it on both sides. Inhale and exhale back. Inhale and exhale up. Good job. Don't we love roll-ups? Yes, we do. You know what's fun about teaching virtual classes like this? Is that I can pretend you're saying everything I want to hear. <laughs> uh, although I have to say, I like hearing moans and groans in my class too. Makes me feel like I'm doing my job. Switch legs. Bad cueing, sorry. So now what we're gonna do as the knee comes, as you raise it up, knee comes to your chest and lower it down. You can do this all from a modified position, totally fine. Let's have that leg go up. Breathe, we'll have it up, glue your knees together and roll it on up. Good job, makes it a little harder. Oh, you know what, we're supposed to be pulling it in, aren't we? Ah, oh, bad instructor. That's okay. Okay, one more time. I'm sure if I could hear you guys, somebody would be saying, I thought we were pulling the knee into the chest, see? You guys keep me honest too. I start getting in with my talking and forget about what we're doing. Breathe. Good job. We just have a couple more. I know, man, but we haven't done these forever. I love them. One more time and you're gonna hold it at the top. Bring it in, you're up. Now if you're modifying, get yourself up to a seated position like us. I'm gonna move diagonally a little bit. You don't have to, you can stay how you are. Hands behind your knees. You're sitting up tall, you're on those butt bones. Those bones get the, that get sore if you ride a bike or ride a horse for a long time, or if you haven't done it in a while. So you're on those butt bones, String going from your head up to the ceiling, sitting up tall, abs are in tight. So extend those legs out, feet are flexed, arms are in front. Now, as we do this, if you feel like you're like this, now that I move, if you're like this instead of like this, I want you to bend your knees to get yourself up. That's just tight hamstrings. So feet are flexed, arms are up, abs are in tight. You got the string going up, we're gonna do the spine twist. You're gonna inhale, exhale, twist. Eyes are following your hand out behind you. Inhale to the center. Exhale to the other side. Inhale to the center. Exhale. So we are working deep core muscles here. This is hard. If you are engaging those abs, sitting up tall, stretching those hamstrings, and the breathing is important. Breathe, ex exhale as you go back. It's almost like you're twisting all the air out of your lungs like a wet rag of water. That's what I want you to think about. Exhale as you twist. Inhale to the center. Exhale as you twist. Inhale to the center. One more time either side. Use your breath. Back to the center, hold it, flex your feet. Arms are up. Pushing up to the ceiling, abs are in tight. Um, we're trying to touch the ceiling with my fingertips. There's a lot of work here. This is hard. It is hard to hold a static pose than, uh, than moving, for sure. Hold it there, hands go back behind, shake out those legs. I know those hip flexors are doing some work and our legs are gonna go out into a wide V. So, sitting up tall again, if you're like this, bend your knees and get yourself up, okay? So legs are out, arms are out to the side this time. So, 
We are going to switch and extend the opposite pinky toe, hold it back to the center, twist to the other side, hold it back to the center, exhale, twist. Inhale, center, exhale, twist. We are stretching those hamstrings, working our core. Every time you get to the center, sit up taller. Breathe. Good job. Stretch those hammies. Work those glutes. One more time. Switch, go to the other side. Back to the center, hold it. I want you to just twist the upper body one way. Hold it. This is hard. Back to the center. Maybe I'll go in the center so you can see. And twist to the other side. Oh my gosh! Back to the center. Suck in those abs. Twist. Breathe. Don't hold your breath. Back to the center one more time. Twist. I know, man. I hear you. Back to the center. Arms are up again. Stretch and relax. Pull your knees in. Shake it on out. Woohoo! And we are going to go right on over to our sides. You know what? I always go to that side. So I'm going to this side first. So it's always important to switch side, whichever you do first a lot, whichever is your weaker side, stronger side. You know, go to the opposite side when we're doing side work like this. So hips are stacked, hand and front for stability, feet are together, raise it up. And up. you are pushing away with your toes to the opposite wall. You're keeping those abdominals in nice and tight. You are pushing down on the side of your waist, like the smaller your waist here. We are working waist and gluteus medius. Your gluteus medius is actually on the side here. Up, up, breathe. We're pretending like we're watching TV. Oh man, Survivor last night. That was a good one. Whew, love Survivor. Hold it up at the top, extension. Try to touch those toes. Raise your hand up, see where you're at. You wanna make sure you're not wobbling side to side. Go ahead and put your hand back down, point those toes and circle. We are doing little circles like the size of a salad plate. <laughs> That's what Becky says in her class, I love that. I would never think about salad plate. We all use different verbiage as we go through class. Switch directions. I usually say the size of a basketball or a volleyball, and maybe this one a big softball. Hold it there, flex your feet, pulse, pulse, pulse. Man, you should really be feeling this here. Pulse, pulse, breathe. Hold it, point the toes, hand is down. Uh, circles again. Woo! Feeling this. I can hear everybody groaning now. But we're groaning because it's good. Feels wonderful. We're alive. Switch directions. Ah, oh, I was going to wear my mask today. <laughs> and then rip it off and say, we don't have to do this because we're doing virtual classes. Hold it there. Flex the feet. Pulse. Pulse. Oh my goodness. Breathe. Hold it, point the toe, relax. Man, you should feel that all through here. Raise it up again, flex the feet. Top leg comes up and lower. I don't care how high it goes. This is not a range of motion exercise. We are thinking about the waist and the side of the hip here, not your thigh, up through here. So breathe, suck in those abs. You can even think about the toe facing down if you have a tendency to want to go upwards. Top leg stays parallel to the floor. Now pulse the lower. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Oh my goodness. You can really feel this. Hold it. Point the toes. Big kicks. Lower leg wants to bend as it goes back. Don't let it. Breathe. 
big kicks, nice and big to your range of motion. Use your hand in front for stability. Little kicks. Can you raise it higher? Big kicks again. Holy moly! Love it. Good job, little kicks. Raise it higher if you can. And relax. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is in my top five exercises that I love. So bring yourself to the middle of the mat. Arm goes out to the side. Feet stay together. You're raising it up into a V-sit position and lowering it back down. Raise it up and up. It's almost like I'm doing a little semi-circle here. Starting out with my legs in line, and then they're kind of going into a circle up to the top. Okay? Breathe. Working those obliques. Love it. As you can tell, if you're new to my class, I don't count. We just go until I get tired. <laughs> Hold it up at the top. You're up. Scissor, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax. Hallelujah, we're done with one side. Now we have two sides to work. Go right on over to the other side. Supporting your head with your hand. What are we watching now? I've never watched, people keep talking about Tiger King. Hips are stacked right on top of each other. Legs are in line with your body, hand in front. Both feet together, raise it up. And some people are like enthralled with it. Other people are like, yeah, this is a waste of time. So we haven't watched it. I don't know anything about it, but everybody keeps like it's this big sensation. So as the legs raise up, you're pushing the smaller your waist down to the mat. You are engaging those abs. Breathe. Raise your hand up. See where you're at on this side. Sometimes you find one side is stronger than the other, or you wobble more on one side or the other. Well, you know, that's normal, common. We'd like it to be even all the way. Hold it there, point the toes, little circles. Extension, touch those walls. Breathe. Don't hold your breath. Think about that waist. Switch directions. Good job. Hand in front. Hold it. Flex your feet. Pulse it. Pulse. 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 Really feel that in here. Oh my goodness. Good job. Think about that waist. Think about that gluteus medius right here. Hold it up at the top. Point the toes, circle. I love it. Don't hold your breath. We have awesome fitness instructors at the Parker Rec Center. Uh, during this time with quarantine, switch directions, I've been able to do so many more classes and different instructors I haven't otherwise been able to take uh, because of my schedule and my time. Hold it there. Flex the feet, pulse it. So we check out the other classes. We have awesome instructors. We are so lucky. And we have a full schedule as since you're on here on Zoom. I'm not on Zoom. I know this class schedule is on our Parker website. Uh, but experiment with other classes. This is when it's nice to do it because no one can see you. And if you want to flub up, you flub up, right? One more time, point the toes. Holy moly, think about that waist. I love it. So I know I just, I haven't gone on to, if I miss the live time, you can go on YouTube to the uploaded videos, switch directions. But you know, it's more fun to do the live. If you can do the live, you know, make that time to do the live because that gives you accountability. Hold it there, relax. Oh my goodness. Okay, that was enough relaxation. Hold it up at the top, bottom leg stays, or bottom leg stays where it's at. Top leg comes up. Look at your foot. Your foot is parallel to the floor or toe facing down. Don't worry about the range of motion here. Breathe. Good job. 
Top leg stays parallel to the floor. Pulse the lower leg. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Man, you can really feel this. Good job. Well, I'll try to keep timely today. I've been going over uh, the last two classes, so I'll try to be more timely. Hold it. Oh my gosh. Point the toes and big kicks. Big kicks. Keep that core tight. Suck in those abs. Lower leg wants to bend as it goes back. Try not to let it. Keep those abs in. Breathe. Work in those obliques. Little kicks. Can you raise it higher? Higher is harder. You never have to do the harder in my class. Only if you feel like it. Big kicks. Big kicks. Breathe. Shh. Little kicks again. Good job. And relax. Holy moly. Top five exercise. Arm out to the side. Get yourself in the middle of your mat. Raise it up into a V sit. And down. And up. And up. Breathe. Keep those abdominals in. Exhale as you raise it up. Still working those obliques. And you just raise it up to what's comfortable for you. Just a couple more. We're doing a mom's couple, though. You know what that means? Like, okay, honey, I'll be there in five minutes, 30 minutes later. Okay, last time. Hold it up at the top. You're up. Scissor, 10, 9, 8. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Hallelujah, we're done with that. On your backs. We're going to do some pelvic bridging. Bend your knees. Feet are a little wider than hip width apart. You're going to do a pelvic tilt. And then you're going to raise it up into a bridge. All the pressure between your shoulder blades, not on your neck. If you feel like it's on your neck, your heels are too close to your mat, walk your feet away. If you feel like your heels are too far away, then walk them in a little bit, okay? So, abs are in tight. We're gonna lower and raise the pelvis up, up. So we're gonna start here. As the pelvis goes up, you're squeezing the abs. Squeezing the abs. You are squeezing the abs, but you're squeezing the glutes. <laughs> squeezing the glutes. Breathe. I did have my coffee today, so I had four shots of espresso. Two were decaf. It wasn't like I'm going totally crazy. Hold it up at the top, and then I want you to bring your knees in and out. Maintain that bridge. Don't let it fall. Hold it. Good job. Keep going. We're having fun. Isn't this fun? Yes, it's fun. Hold it on the in, just squeeze and hold it. Like sometimes holding it's a lot harder than, than moving. Just lower a little ways and raise it up. Lower a little ways and raise it up. Breathe, say that quickly. Lower a little ways and raise it up. Lower a little ways and raise it up. Yeah, can't do it. Okay, hold it up at the top. Walk your feet together, still maintaining the bridge. Oh my goodness. Now I really feel this in those inner thighs and those inner glutes. I love that. Lower and raise the pelvis up. Holy crap. Breathe. Shh. Shh. Hold it up. Good job. Now from this position, we're going to add on. I want you to raise the leg up. Lower. Raise the other leg up. Lower. You can do whatever you want to do here. If you just want to raise the knee up a little ways, raise the knee up a little ways, totally fine. If you just want to maintain the bridge, totally fine. Squeeze those glutes at the same time, constantly. Squeeze those abdominals. Don't forget to breathe. There's a lot going on here. Last time, hold it there, maintain the bridge. I know we're doing a long series today. Man, oh man, I know, it's good though. So now you're squeezing those glutes. Both, both butt cheeks are squeezed, right? 
Now I want you to let go of one butt cheek, but keep the other one squeezed. Let it go. Now squeeze both together. Let go of the other butt cheek. I know it's kind of weird, but this is doing the same thing as raising the legs. Squeeze both of them together. Let go of one butt cheek. Now switch, let go. Switch, let go. Switch, switch. I know it's weird. Switch, switch. Squeeze both together. Now slowly lower the pelvis to the floor. Bring your knees into your chest. Whew. Now you can feel what you want. Knees and frog leg, hold on to the ankles. Soles of your feet come together. The closer you bring your heels to the glutes, the greater stretch you can push with your elbows on your knees, whatever works best. So I want to extend those legs out, arms over your head, so we get a nice stretch in those abdominals and hip flexors. This should feel nice. Now, go ahead and bring those knees back in again, legs up to the ceiling, hands underneath your pelvis, head and neck is relaxed on this one. You're going to lower your legs to about a 45 degree position, bring it back to center. Inhale as the legs go away, exhale, bring it back. Inhale as the legs go away, exhale, bring it back. We are working predominantly lower abdominals here. The smaller your back is pushed down to the mat. Breathe. I guarantee probably no one's legs should be touching the floor. So don't do it. I, we're working abdominals here. Push the small of your back down. Last time, hold it at the top. Engage the neck and the upper back, heels behind your head. Same motion, inhale away, exhale up. Inhale away, exhale up. You got that tangerine between your chin and your chest. Modification, hands can go back underneath the pelvis. Just supports the lower back. But if you can have your hands behind your head, elbows are away from your ears. They are not earmuffs. Inhale away, exhale up. Last time, hold it up at the top. Bend the knees, hands behind your head if they are not there. Obliques to one side, center to the other side, center. Exhale as you twist, inhale to the center. Exhale as you twist, inhale to the center. Breathe. Now, as we do this, you are thinking about getting your shoulder to the knee. You can do the elbow all day long. Get deep. You are also extending the leg out completely. So we are going to switch or go a little faster, switch speeds. So we're going to twist, twist, twist. Breathe. Last time, hold it there, pull your knees into your chest and relax. Long step with that. Rotate your ankles. Feet flat on the mat, knees are bent. Cross one leg over the bent knee or the other knee. They're both bent, right? Pull this knee into your chest, stretching the outer thigh and glutes. This is called a figure four stretch. This is a very good stretch if you have sciatic issues. Low back is tight, hamstrings are tight. So we're going to add on here. Engage the neck and the upper back, hands behind your head, and crunch. Crunch. Chest to the knees, knees to the chest. Breathe. Got that tangerine again. You're looking forward at the wall, not at the ceiling. Elbows are not earmuffs. Keep them away. It makes it more challenging. Now you're going to squeeze and hold it. Squeeze, squeeze. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Keep your legs where they are. Relax your head. Rotate your head side to side. Bring it back up. Hands behind your head. This time we're crossing the elbow to the across knee, to the bent knee. They're both bent. Breathe. Now, as you can see, my elbow is stabilized on the floor. I'm pivoting on that elbow. Bringing the knee to the elbow, I'm sorry, shoulder. We don't do the shoulder. Knee to the shoulder, shoulder to the knee. We don't do the elbow, I mean. Breathe. Working obliques. 
Squeeze and hold it. Squeeze, squeeze. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax your head. Uncross. Pull your knees into your chest. Now we got to switch sides. Cross the other leg over. Pull this knee. Start with a figure four. Pull this knee into your chest. This should feel nice. Got to prep our legs for leg series in a couple minutes. Engage the neck and the upper back, hands behind your head, and crunch. Just a straight crunch. We're not twisting it. Elbows out. Got that tangerine. You're looking forward at the wall. Having that leg crossed over adds a little extra resistance. I like that. Challenges the exercise. Breathe. You should be sweating. I am sweating right now, and it is cool in my office. It is not hot in here. Squeeze and hold it. Squeeze, squeeze. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Keep your legs where they are. Relax the head. Rotate the neck side to the head, side to side. Back to the center. Bring it up. Hands behind your head. Shoulder to the crossed knee. Shoulder to the crossed knee. We're doing obliques now. Elbow that's on the floor is pivoting. We are pivoting on that elbow. Breathe. Think about those obliques. Get that shoulder to that bent knee. Exhale as you twist. A lot going on here. Breathe. Shh. 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 Last one. Squeeze and hold it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax your head, uncross, pull your knees into your chest and relax. And go ahead and extend your legs out, arms over your head. Oh, we got, oh, we got plenty of time, don't worry. I was looking at my watch wrong. I was like, oh my gosh, it's time for legs already. We're turning over onto our tummies. So arms are out, whole body stays on the mat. You're gonna raise your forelimbs off the mat, extend. Touch those walls, not the ceiling. Feeling like there's somebody pulling on your wrist, somebody's pulling on your ankles, pulling you apart. So I have Elvis on my wrists and Dean Martin on my ankles. Love them. I could wake up with them whispering in my ear every day, singing, I should say. Extension, flutter, flutter, flutter. Flutters are coming from your shoulders and hips, not your elbows and knees. Stop, hold it, extend, relax. So if this hurts your back, don't lift up so high, okay? We're not trying to be the letter V or the letter U, we're just trying to be parallel with the floor. Raise it up again, extend. Don't hold your breath. Feel like you're on an old time taffy stretcher. Pulling you apart, stretching your out. We're changing your height to weight ratio right now. Now hold your legs up. I want you to pull your arms out beside you, pulling your shoulder blades down and elongating the neck. Stretch it over your head, pull the elbows down again, pulling your shoulders away from your ears, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Arms over your head. Pull it down again. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Still maintaining your legs. You're squeezing those glutes too. One more time over your head and pull it down into um, squeezing those shoulder blades. Your uh, shoulders away from your ears. Arms over your head. Relax. Whole body stays on the mat. Arms come up. Pull the elbows down into a W. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Stretch it over your head. Pull it down into a W. Stretch it over your head. Pull it down into a W. As the elbows go down into a W, you're squeezing the shoulder blades together, pulling the shoulders away from the ears, elongating the neck. Legs are relaxed on this one. We've got to work those ever important rhomboid muscles. Hold it on the down, squeeze and hold it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stretch it over your head and relax. So 
I want your hands to be right in front of you. So your forehead is going to be on your elbow, on your hands. Raise the upper body up. Raise the legs. But you're extending, not very high, with the legs. You're holding this here. And then you're going to tip the elbow to one side, center, tip the elbow to the other side, center. So we're working posterior obliques. Breathe. Extend your legs. So you're working the low back and glutes at the same time. Breathe. If you're not sweating by now, <laughs> I am sweating. It's pouring off of me right now. Breathe. Last time, hold it in the center. Lower the legs, lower the arms, and relax. Good job. This is a lot of work. Elbows out to the side. Whole body stays on the mat. Raise the elbows up and down, up. Another exercise for the rhomboids, the muscles right between the shoulder blades. These are your anti-schlumping muscles. Breathe. These help you sit up tall if you're sitting on a stool or sitting in your chair. Breathe. Hold it up at the top, pulse it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Four, three, two, one. Slow again. Up, up, up. Good job. Fast again. Pulse it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. Extend it over your head and relax. Hands go underneath your shoulders. Push it back into child's pose. Stretch it on back. I'm going to grab my handy dandy uh, wipe here, my little washcloth, because I am sweating. Oh my goodness. And we're going on to legs. We're ready. So I'm switching sides again. Usually I start on the other side. I'm switching sides. I probably have makeup all underneath my eyes too. And that's okay if I talk because I have no filter since I married my husband. So. Upper body to the back of the mat, legs are diagonally in front of us, abs are in tight, hips are stacked. Lower foot is your kickstand, top leg is going to sweep forward and back, keep that core tight, breathe. Yeah, when I married my husband, I was all about the filter, he was not. And we've kind of both come together in the middle, so I'm a little freer with speaking my mind than I used to be or divulging personal stuff. So, so it's good and bad all at the same time. Breathe. So as the leg goes back, you're working the glute. As it goes forward, you're working, you're stretching the uh, hamstring. So, but it's always good when you take on the good traits of your partner, right? Bring that foot to the other foot, flex it, pulse it. Pulsing is coming from the hip. It is not coming from the knee. It is not coming from the ankle. So I do a long leg series. I know I do a lot of legs. That is because this is a very important stabilizing part of your spine. Hold it there, point the toe, circle. Extension, see how my toe is, is uh, pointed? And energy is going out that leg, out the toes. Again, the circle is coming from my hip. So switch directions, breathe. I do a lot of legs. This is the stability of your spine. So if this is strong, the rest of your body, body's going to be strong. Toe is down, heel is up, raise it on up. Internal rotation of the hip, toe facing down. I like that. Isolates that outer thigh better. Now, if you keep doing my class, Every time I do it, the leg series will get easier. I mean, the motions aren't hard, but it will start burning. And, but it will start getting easier. Hold it on the down, point the toe, big circles. You only do a circle that's comfortable for you. I say this every class. So I don't want your upper body moving to make that circle bigger. That's not the point. Switch directions. As that leg comes forward, stretch the hamstring. 
Nice big circle. Good job. The circles are really good. Um, in fact, my whole leg series, for, series, good for hips, good for low back. Hold it there. We're going to point that toe, tap it three times in front, raise it up three times in back. And up, tap one, two, three, up. Tap two, three, up. Tapping from the hip. We are not resting the leg and tapping at the ankle. This is a no ankle zone. We don't work ankles in my class. So breathe. <laughs> Last two, three, up. Tap two, three, up. Down to the other foot. Remember what side you're on because we're gonna go back on this on a second set. Pop yourself up onto your elbow. Abs are in tight. The leg you just worked goes behind. This leg is extended out, but parallel to the floor. Raise it on up. Push away with the heel. So our legs are probably already a little tired because we, we use legs to work the abs. So um, that's just how it goes, unfortunately. But I will never do leg series first because then I wouldn't want to do anything else. Breathe. Hold it up at the top. A lot of energy going out that heel this time. Holding it is rough. We're working that inner thigh. Pulse at 10, 9. I'm not counting. I'm not counting. I have too much to say. I don't want to count. So as we're doing this, you're controlling it. That's why we do pulses because it makes you control it. Hold it, point the toe, circle. Higher is harder, close the floor is easier. You do what works best for you. But I want you to think about the up part of the circle. That's where the work is, up, up, up. Breathe, switch directions. Good job, I love circles. Most of the time, Elizabeth. <laughs> oh, so, but I do love circles, hold it there. Lower it down, sweep it out, and bring it back in. Hold it on the out. Flex the foot. Pulse it. Pulse, pulse. You can circle every part of your body and get a workout. So there's no excuse for not working out. Um, get yourself a timer. Hold it. Point the toe. Circles again. And do like a minute of shoulder circles, small shoulder circles, a minute of big shoulder circles, a minute of little leg circles, of ab circles. Switch directions. Lots of things you can do. Breathe. Hold it. Bring it in. Bring it up in threes. Up, two, three, and down. 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 One more time. Up, two, down. Sweep it out. Bring it back in. Sweep it out, bring it back in. One more time, hold it on the in, bring it up in twos. Up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. One more time, up, two, down, two. Raise it to the top. Pulse it, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. Lower it down, bend that knee, chest on top of that knee, stretch it on out. So we're gonna go right back down to the same side. Do not switch sides. We are doing the outer thigh twice. So draw your knees up, 90 degrees in your hips, 90 degrees in your knees. Leg comes up, open and close like a door. Good job. It's a little hinge joint in there. Even though it's a ball and socket joint, it hinges too. Good job. Open and close that leg. So we are not doing this though. Keep the upper body tight. Be more forward. Now hold it midway and you're gonna circle. You are circling from the hip. It's like there's a paintbrush on your knee and you're painting a, painting a circle with that brush. So, but the circle's actually coming from your hip. I like these. Switch directions. See, another circle. What do you know? <clears throat> Good job. Hold it there and pull it, pull it. 
Get that knee to that chin. Get it up there. Pull, pull, pull. Breathe. Shh, 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 shh. Hold it. Little circle again. This latter part of the leg series, a lot of it has come from the original Buns of Steel video with Greg Smith. Love him. He is hilarious, but he does an awesome leg series. Switch directions. I only have it on VHS. <laughs> uh, I should look for it and see if it's on DVD. So hold it there, pull it, pull it, pull it. But he says, when you do my leg series, people are going to see you coming, but they're going to watch you going. <laughs> I love that. Send the leg out. Leg is perpendicular from your body. Thighs are parallel. Point the toe. Little circle. Oh my goodness. More circles. Yes, Gillette. Or yes, you're saying more circles, Gillette. Yes, more circles. Breathe. Switch directions. I am having mouth mal malfunctions today. Good job. Love it. Hold it. Flex it. Pulse it. Oh my goodness. This is waking you up. If you weren't awake by now, you are now. Hold it. Draw the knee into the chest, push the wall away. Bring it in, push that wall. That wall is heavy, push it, push it, push. Hold it on the out, a big one. Oh my gosh, first one's the hardest. You just gotta get through it. I know you can do it. Breathe, hold it on the down, point the toe. Five circles, four, three, two, one, switch directions, five, four, three, two, one, flex it, pulse it, five, four, three, two, one, draw it into the knee chest, push the wall away as one, bring it in, two, push it away, three, push it away, four, last time, hold it on the out, Five pulses, five, four, three, two, one. Last five, five big ones, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, pat it out, hallelujah. We are halfway done. And you know what that means? It means we are almost done with class. We're halfway done with class. We still have, you know, 45 minutes. No, I'm just kidding. Halfway done with legs. Glass is half full, silver lining to every dark cloud. Love it. So we're gonna go right on over to the other side. Upper body to the back of the mat. Legs are diagonally forward, supporting your head with your hand. Lower foot is your kickstand, remember. Top leg is gonna sway forward and back. Keep that core tight. Yes, everything that we did on the other side, we're doing on this side now. But you know what? It's going to go lickety split because you know what we're doing now. And you can do it because you did it on the other side. Breathe. Keep that core tight. As the leg goes forward, stretch the hamstring. As it goes back, work the glute. But control it. We are not flailing that leg. I want you to control it all the way through. Breathe. Bring that foot to the other foot. Flex it. Pulse it. Pulse, pulse. Pulsing is coming from your hip. Breathe. Good job. Hold it. Point the toe. Little circles. Extension. A lot of energy going out of my pointed toes. I'm making my legs longer. I love that. Switch directions. I know there's a couple of people like, yeah, I don't need longer legs. So I would like longer legs. Changes my height to weight ratio. Hold it, flex the foot, pulse, pulse. Oh, we did this already. Toe is down, raise it up. Good job. I know I'm talking too much. Not thinking about what we're doing. I'm imagining all your, your um, conversation back to me. All the little chatting that we do that I miss. Breathe. Hold it on the down, point the toe, big circles. You only do a circle that's comfortable for your hip. Breathe. I say this every time I teach. 
you know, the, the teaching is not necessarily all for you guys. It's for us instructors too, because we really enjoy it. So it's really great when we see a lot of people in the live class with us switch directions. Although I know sometimes, you know, it just doesn't work out time wise and you go do the ones that are uploaded on YouTube. That's totally fine too. That's great. That's why they're there. Um, but it's totally nice to see you guys here in this format. Hold it there. Take your leg, tap three times in front, raise it up three times in back. And up, tap one, two, three, up. Tap two, three, up. Tap two, three, up. Tap from the hip. Breathe. Last time in back, raise it up, down to the other foot. Remember what side you're on. Pop yourself up onto the elbow, the leg you just worked as extended out or is behind, the other leg is extended out. Push away with that heel. Up, breathe. So we get a lot of that, we get a lot, as much out of it as you guys get. So it's uh, important to us as well. So gives all of us purpose, right? Makes the day. People who don't work out, I mean, I, I'd be bored to death. <laughs> so hold it up at the top, pulse it. Because working out, A, it makes you feel better. B, you're not feeling like a slug. You're doing something that's positive. And it's, an, it's a great hour out of your day. Hold it, point the toe, little circles. So in fact, I, I really feel like I've been so busy since this whole quarantine. I'm like, how did I work before? So think about the up part of the circle here, switch directions. I don't feel like I've had much downtime. <laughs> Breathe. Hold it there, lower it down, sweep it out, hold it on the out. Flex the foot, pulse it. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Breathe. Shh, shh. Hold it, point the toe, little circles. Think about the up part of the circle. And I don't have any little ones at home either, so it's not like I'm homeschooling. But I, I, miss, I feel like I'm busy all the time. It's crazy. Good job, hold it there, bring it in. Flex it out, bring it in. Flex the foot, raise it up in twos. Up, two, down, two, up. Two, down, two, up, two, down, two. Good job. Up, two, down, two. One more time. Up, two, down, two. Sweep it out. Bring it back in one more time. Bring it in. Flex the foot again. Up in threes. Up, two, three, and down. 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 One more time. Up, two, three, and down, raise it to the top. Energy coming out of that heel this time. Pulse it, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one, and lower. Remember what side you're on, chest on top of that knee. We are going to finish up with the second last set of outer thigh, and then we will do a little stretch at the end and be done. Lay right back down, do not switch sides. Draw your knees up, 90 degrees in your hips, 90 degrees in your knees. Open and close that leg like a door. Check the virtual or the virtual class schedule on the Parker website. If you have the Parker website app, there is a link there that will take you right to the page that is on the Parker website. And that list is all the class. We will be updating classes weekly, so we will be doing this until we are back teaching in, in the rec center. So hold it on the down, pull it, pull it. Get that knee to that chin. Get it up there, pull, pull, pull. Breathe, shoo, shoo, shoo. Hold it, circle. Remember, circles come from the hip. We're drawing the circle with our knee. Breathe. Good job, switch directions. Doing awesome. Hold it, pull it, pull it, pull it. Shh, 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 shh. Love it. You can pat it out if you need to. Circle again, we're on the home stretch. Dig in, 
Do it. I know you can. Hold it. Leg goes out perpendicular from your bodies. Thighs are parallel. Flex the foot. Pulse it. Oh my goodness. Little motions take up more energy because we're controlling it. Hold it. Point the toe. Circle. Come on. You did it on the other side. You can do it on this side and know you can. Switch directions. Breathe. Good job. Hold it there. Flex the foot. Draw the knee into the chest. Push the wall away. That wall is heavy. Push it. You can make this hard. You can make it easy. Push. Push. Just make sure you're pushing it out in front of you. Push. One more time. Hold it on the out. Now we're going to raise it up. First one's the hardest. Oh my goodness. Breathe. I know. Dig in. We're almost done. I know I keep saying almost. Hold it on the down. Flex the foot. Five pulses. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it. Point the toe. Five circles. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch directions. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it. Flex the foot. Draw the knee in. Push the way for five. Push it away for four. For three. Two. Holy crap. One. Hold it. Five pulses. This is the last ten. Five, four, three, two, one. Shift it down. Five big ones. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Pat it out. Have a seat, cross that leg over, sit up tall. Holy moly, we are done, hallelujah. And I'm only gonna go a scooch over because we're just gonna stretch real quick. So lay on our backs, pull our knees into our chest. Nice stretch, knees and frog leg, hold on to the ankles, soles of your feet come together. Pushing down on those thighs, get a deeper stretch in those inner thighs. This feels good. I love it. Got to stretch out all that hard work we did. Bring those knees together, arms out into a T. Let your knees drop all the way down to the floor, stretching the side of your body that you worked so hard on. Feels nice. Lift your knees up, drop them to the other side. Good stretch. And you are going to engage those abs, sucking in your gut all day long. Bring your knees up, cross one leg over, pull it into your chest. All that hard work you did on those outer thighs. Now you can work those ankles. Uncross, cross the other way, pull that knee into your chest. This should feel nice. Love it. Uncross, roll yourself up to a seated position. Cross your legs in front. We're going to one time walking our fingertips forward, keeping our glutes on the mat, trying to touch our forehead or elbows to the floor, stretching your inner and outer thighs, your glutes, your upper back, mid back, low back. Walk your fingertips back in, sit up tall. Take a deep breath in up to the ceiling, stretch it up and exhale. Good job. You guys were truly really great today. Thank you so much for coming. We, I appreciate it. It's always nice to see everybody and to see everybody's face. It's awesome. You guys, oh, and I have makeup all over my eyes. That's okay. So, oh, groan, groan. Muhammad says to everybody, oh, Michelle had to leave a little early, but that's okay. As long as you guys could come. Uh, and thank you, Elizabeth. You love my face and voice. <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> Muhammad says, groan, groan. Uh, glad I like to hear groan groan. Oh, more groan groan. Love it. Where's Ellen? Oh, thanks, Ellen says. And that was Jane. Nice to see you, Jane. I'm glad you came. She was on Dan's iPad. And um, oh, Francisca. Okay, your name, her name's together. Francisca said, thank you. Elizabeth, thank you. I'm glad you feel taller. I do too. <laughs> uh, I'd like to be about an, an inch taller, maybe. 
Rivka, thanks for coming. Thanks again. It's so nice to see everybody. I appreciate everybody coming. Um, we had a, quite a few people in today, so that's awesome. I love it. I am teaching again on Saturday, 11.45, so you can check that out. Um, but I'm probably keeping to Tuesdays and Thursdays, so just 11.15 and 11.45. Anyway, you guys have a great rest of your day. It's so nice seeing everybody. Oh, Peggy, first flies class. Awesome. I'm glad she had you came. And thank you, Donna. I'll see you guys hopefully on Saturday. Keep doing up with the classes. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.